Hello, you lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge. Welcome back to Sim Airport. So last time out was quite big. We did quite a lot of stuff. Big thing, runway. Second runway in, big lot of taxiway. The taxiway does look a little bit weird tacked onto the side of the runway with these sort of circular hoop things, but whatever, it works. So yes, we have an extra runway which allowed us to schedule a lot more flights, which means a lot more money came in. And we used that money to invest on an extra gate and a little bit down here. So a little bit of extra airport, if you like. So down here, so we've got some benches and a couple of queues and some gate agent desks, but nothing actually queued up here. And also you will notice that again, I have broken out the crayons. I have been scribbling. These look like the scribblings of some sort of madman before he goes on a rampage. But yes, there we go. There are some scribbles. These will become apparent later. What I want to do right now is I want to sort this gate out and I want to schedule some flights to it because then we'll have even more money. So at the moment, this is what our scheduling list looks like. We have two things arriving at the same time for gate A1 and A2. So one, that one, for example, WestJet 8427 can land on the top runway and this Afford Air 8132 can land on the other runway, the new one. When we schedule something for gate A3, we need it to kind of come in here. We need to arrive at sort of half four-ish because, or five perhaps even, a little bit before those, I don't know, but half four is probably optimal because otherwise if we say schedule three for that time, then that's just a bit stupid. Then there's going to be delays and stuff. So yes, we should schedule some for sort of five o'clock onwards. So what we need to do is we need to get this working first. This needs to be a working gate. So are these linked up? No, these are not assigned. Letters assigned to there. Ah, it's assigned to the queue, is it? <laughs> okay, I've assigned it to the queue, but not to the actual gate. Okay, fine. So assigned to that gate and assigned. Yeah, so it's unassigned to that queue. Okay, so the queues are assigned. The gate agents are assigned. Let's stick a couple of security, pe uh, security people, staff people in. Uh, okay, they've swapped over, but no, lovely. There we go. They've gone to the right bits. Uh, before we start opening this up for people to use, however, I, I can't not have goodies. I can't not have fun things lying around. One thing I did think, this bit down here is a little bit sort of wasted. It's kind of in a wasted space. So I thought, why don't we put one of these big decorative plants in the corner? Because that looks quite cool. They can just sit in the corner. And then we just need to tart this up with all sorts of bits and bobs. So how about some plants and some bins, maybe a bin or two. Let's have a look. Where does that go? Yep. So that's the top. In fact, let's put the bin just there at the bottom. We want some of the flight info board so we can put one there. And that bit here is going to be the edge of a wall. So we could put that one there so people could be informed of their flights. That is very good. Uh, and some lovely pot plants. How about one there and a pot plant just there? There we go. That makes that look a little bit nicer. And they can see what's going on with the flights. Let's be time on to quick. I don't know why I've got it on single speed mode. That's going to be no bloody use to anybody. Right. So the little builder guy should get these deliveries. Yes, this is another concern for us down here. The, uh, the road system, the dual road system down here does not work very well yet. It's not really working. Look, the, the passenger buses keep pulling in at a stupid angle, presumably because pickups isn't big enough. So they try and pull in as much as they can, but they pull in on angle. It's all a bit rubbish, to be honest. I wonder if I could build... Hmm, how much is road? How much is it going to be in pickups? If I did that, just for road... That doesn't look like it matches up. Hang on, what? That did not look like it worked. Road. There. What if I just wanted to do, like, that? 48 grand. Okay, let's do 40,000 quids, well, dollars worth of road. Just there. Five tiles, good lord. Let's do that. See if that helps the pickups bit. Maybe they can pull it. Look, it's just blo it's blocking the road. The pickups are just blocking the road by your stupid, erratic, diagonal parking. Move, please. So yes, the delivery van works well. So let's see. They're going to build some road sections. Bibbly bobbly boo. Here we go. And road sections complete. So they're the drop-offs. That's fine. Right, here we go. Pickups. Are the pickup buses going to pull in properly? Or are they going to pull it? No, that's a stu these are stupid angles. Just drive flat. Just drive level to it. Big green car. This is... Okay, yeah. Okay, right. All the people that drive the buses need to go to some sort of bus driving school because you cannot drive buses. You are all very, very, very stupid people. Okay, fine. Whatever. That didn't work. Okay, so we need to schedule some flights for our gates just here. Our airplane gate. 
This is very exciting. So, a couple of morning flights were required. Who haven't we got? Right, Galactic Point, I think, are too big. All their flights are big, aren't they? Yes, we can't have any. We need the Super XL gate. So, yeah, we can't have any of those in. Who else have we not got a lot of? A Ford Air haven't got any morning flights. WestJet have got a morning flight. A Bombardier... Oh, okay. It's one of the little crappy planes. Juno Connect. What's your morning flight? A Bombardier CRJ900. What is, what is that? 75 maximum passengers, but it's only... 2,800 for a flight. Do you know what? Why don't we have a smaller flight? Just just to get it in. Just to get a nice thing. So a Bombardier. So what is it? A Juno Connect. So let's have a look. A Juno Connect. Yes, look. The stupid scheduling is already kicking in. Right. We don't want that there. Let's have that there. Beautiful. So at 5am, Juno Connect 698 will arrive. Then we want some more. More morning flights. What about Atlantic International? What is your morning flight? Oh, do you not have one? Oh, I thought it said one. I've clearly gone mental. Uh, Aerostar, do you have a morning flight? What are your morning flights? 707 or a 7... Ooh, 767. They're, they're rather big, aren't they? 767s. 250 passengers? Oh, I'm very tempted to just get one of those in. Do you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. Yes. A 767, please. In the morning. Let's drop that in. Aerostar. It looks kind of stupid and out of place. There we go. Like that. So it's still in the middle of those flights. That's good. Then we've got enough probably for another morning flight as well, I would say. So another morning flight. Yes, we can fit another morning flight in. Whoops. Who do we want? Union Air have got two. Morning Beechcraft 1900. Oh, these are the little... No, I don't want those. Thank you. But Rexicana. I like their planes. They look good. Morning, 787, seven, oh, that's 300 passengers, too big, too big, nope, your morning ones are too big. What about Smart Air Lux, morning flight, a Boeing 747, they're big aren't they? Oh, they're huge, I can't have that, I can't have any of their morning flights, I don't think. Uh, oh, a Boeing 767, how big was that? 250 passengers, I'd rather have one for like 180 or something passengers. What of these, morning 707, yes. Spark jet. Spark jet there. There we go. So let's drag that down. So like that. So we've got the three morning flights. Right now, I think we're going to want, yeah, afternoon flights. So let's grab an afternoon flight. What about uh, you? Aero time. Boeing 737. 140 passengers. Yep, you'll do. Drop you in. Oh, are you hiding in there? Aero time. Yep, so they're not clashing with anything. That's good. Can we drop that in there? No, that's annoying. Okay, that's fine. We'll have to do it like that. So it's ever so slightly not... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure we will be fine. Okay. Who else do we want? We've got another afternoon flight available. A Ford Air. Because they sound good. What about a 737? 140 passengers. Yeah, okay. We'll have you. We'll have an Ford Air. 737. Oh, you've actually scheduled it half decent. Hooray, well done. The other the other Ford Airs looked okay, didn't they? Can I not have those? A 707 is 180 passengers. And a 767, maybe not the 767. Let's have that one as well. 707, afternoon. Another Ford Air. Yes, there. So drag that into like that. And then are we into night flights? Yes, night arrival. We could probably get two night arrivals. But Rexicana had some night arrivals. Quite like their planes. But they look good. So a 767. Again, you think I remember this. Yeah, okay. We'll have a 767. Yes, please. A nighttime arrival. And another one of those? Let's just reschedule. Let's sort the schedule out. Oh, right. It's hidden behind there. Look, look it's hiding. Rexicana. There we go. Like that. Stop hiding. I think, yeah, I think we can fit one more in. One more night flight. Uh, who haven't we got a lot of? These guys. Oh, they haven't got any nighttime flights. Union Air has a nighttime flight. Beechcraft 1900. I don't want little rubbishy planes. Give me some bigger planes. Atlantic International. Nighttime. Oh, these are weird planes. An Embraer. I don't know what that is. How much do they hold? An Airbus A320 would be okay for night time. No, okay. A 707 or a 737? Let's have a 707. Let's go conservative. Let's have an Atlantic International 
Nighttime flight, and I think that is hiding just there as well. No, that's WestJet. Oh, okay, do you know what? That doesn't make any difference. It's a flight, it's scheduled. There we go. So Gate A3 has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flights. I don't think we can really cram any more in. I don't really want to cause clashes between sort of arrivals and things on the runways. So that's pretty good going. And now we've got a big blob of money. Uh, yes, 174 grand, in fact. Let's see how much of this we can build. Let's have a quick look. Foundation. So how much is it going to cost us to build all that? 250 grand. Okay, fine. That's significantly more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Okay, what else can we do? I did look early while I was sort of looking into how we we're going to do this. I do think it's a bit weird that the airplane gate, the ones we've got in, they're called airplane gate with an L for large. Yet these ones are called aircraft gate large, yet they have an XL in the corner. So they're called aircraft rather than airplane. This one is a L, even though it's not called a large. And the one with XL in the corner is just called large. Yeah, okay, fine. Jolly good. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this gate in. I'm going to drop in the large gate. This is exciting. It also means we can see where the door needs to go. So let's drop the large gate in like that. So it'll come down here. Yep, I've put the little sort of bit in the, the door in the right place. Look for the whatever that bit's called, the exit corridor, exit ramp, not the exit corridor, that's that thing. Whatever that is, the big expandy bit that you get off the plane and go into the terminal with, this thing. So that's in the right place. So the dude should be coming out to build that now. And then maybe we shall have enough money by the time they've finished. As time moves on. Here they come, running in. Whee! There they go. Slightly curious route, but okay, you could have just cut across here, but there we go. Right, they're working on it already. Wiggling spanners around. Yes, it's going up and... Okay, right, let's let's wait for them to do this. So the plan is, grab all this, turn it all into nice, nice concrete, lovely concrete jungle. So turn this all into foundations. The yellow bits here are benches. So these yellow blocks here are benches. These are benches down here. Benches, benches, benches along the wall. This is going to be a bar in this area with some stools around it. This is going to be goodies, like vending machines or whatever. This is going to be goodies, vending machines, ATM, whatever. This bit here is going to be the gate agents. They've finished. And this is going to be the queue. So the queue for these are bigger because these are going to be big planes. These are going to be bigger planes. So... This is going to be queues, and the normal queues over here are sort of 8 long. I think these are maybe even 12 or 13 long, so we can fit more people in the queues. Obviously, there's plenty of seating around for people to sit down, but we want bigger queues because the planes are significantly bigger. Okay, so we're going to need to wait a while to get some money. One thing I did do, I did employ a lot more kitchen people. I employed a lot more food workers, because the cafe is absolutely wrapped. The cafe is stupidly busy. Look at it. There's millions of people. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how the queues are working. They're all rushing about coming in here. So no wonder we get running out of food. So look, running around. There we go. More food being prepared. More food. We keep making money out of it. Retail food income, $610. So it is working. We're making food. Someone's saying, arg in the queue. Maybe you should have got your plane instead of waiting for a pizza. Your problem. So, oh, look, there's a plane. There's a plane. There's a plane at our new desk. Is it working? Is it working? Let's have a look. There are all those people in the queue. Look, they're all waiting patiently on those benches. And I imagine as soon as that go, Is anyone getting on? There's people standing in line. It's departing in... Hello, do you want to get on the plane? Oh, yeah. Passenger, you were too slow. Too slow. You were almost half an hour late. Tough. Get off, Sonny. Yeah, look. All the benches are filling up. It's very busy. The airport's looking very busy. One thing I might have to do is expand the uh, baggage claim out a little bit at some point. I need possibly another two of those in, do you think, maybe? I think I might need another couple in just to make sure, just in case the big planes. I imagine the big planes might need a couple of those, a couple of baggage carousels. So we could, in theory, let's say if it requires two, there could be a bit where lots of flights have come in. We'll need two, three, four, five baggage carousels. So, yeah, we might need to expand that out a little bit, but that's no bad thing. In fact, let's sort of prepare for that now. This outdoor gate, let's dismantle that, and you're stood right next to it. You should be able to be right on that right now. 
Yep, there's a big hole in the fence now. Nobody go through that hole in the fence. Can we even build fence? Yes, we can. Oh, my goodness. Right, okay. Yeah, put some fence in, please. And the thing that we just built, wherever it is, the gate. Where is it? Where's the gate? I can't find it. Outdoor gate. can go right at the bottom. Why don't we just put it there, look? So it's as far down here as it can be. Like that. Good. And then the storage shelf, that's always going to be... Oh, no. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Look, I didn't notice that. The pickups bit goes over into deliveries. Let's move that over a little bit, shall we? Let's rezone that ever so slightly. Pickups. Pickups can also cover that area just there. We don't need that much stuff for deliveries. In fact, deliveries can have a bit more room. Storage can be shrunk. There we go. And then we can move this thing, the storage shelf, uh, dismantle that, and then we could put it in theory in storage. It sounds like a storagey sort of thing. Okay, let's find where the storage shelf was. Where is it? Just there. So let's grab that. Let's put that in the storage area. Let's put it just there in the corner for now. A little bird of first thing I put it. Yay, there we go. So a little bit of sort of preemptive work to make that a bit bigger. Okay, we have enough monies. We should now be able to concrete over all of this bit. So let's do that now. Foundation. Let's put that over there. 250 grand, so pretty much all of our money, but bosh. There we go. We now don't have a lot of money left at the moment, but by the time they finish doing all that, the fact that we've got now three gates full of flights, we should see our money going back up fairly quick, I would have thought, and then we'll be able to deck this out with the benches and the boards and the plants and the bins and all that kind of jazz, all the cool stuff that it needs. Just realised over here, there's no, there's nothing on the end of there. I want a bin. Where's a trash bin? Where is it? Garbage bin. Is that the right way around? Du, du, du. Yes, there. There we go. Trash bin. Let's put a trash bin just there. That's lovely as well. Imagine they're going to be a little bit preoccupied with doing this. So what we're going to do is, we shall wait for them to finish this. So I imagine that's going to take bloody ages. We've got to build walls. They've got to do all the stuff. They've got to build the actual floor. Then I've got to put the flooring in as well. I'm doing a little bit of work. I took out some of the walls. Again, you've left a massive hole in the walls. There's a giant hole in the wall now. So people can just walk out, wander onto the runway. I don't know if health and safety are going to be very happy, but never mind. Okay, fine. So yeah, let's wait until that's done because we might be here for quite a long time. This looks like quite a big job. We've not even finished moving all the concrete and wall bits in yet. Let alone started building it. So yes, we shall return when they have finished. And after what feels like many, many, many hours, they have finally done this. It has been built. The flooring has been put in and it looks mighty, mighty good. So, we need to put these things in now. All these sort of multicolored, horrible things. It is time to now deck everything out with benches. Benches and cues and all the other fun stuff. So here we go. Lots of benches are going to be required. This is going to be for the big, the big, big airplanes. The huge ones. Uh, if I knew anything about planes, I'd probably tell you plane names. I don't really, and I just get on them and fly about in them. I don't really know much about them. So, yes, I, don't, I can't really tell you any airplane names. I know Boeing, I know 747s, 737s, 767s, 787s. As long as I've got a 7 and a number and then another 7, we are fine. So, yeah, we need more seats here, though. This is going to be a massive place for just people sitting down. So here we go. We want these ones here, sideways on just there. And another three there. Yes, this is going to be lots of seats. This is brilliant. This is working very well. There we go. So that's that done. We want to put a bar in because I like the idea of a bar being over here. So I think I need to turn it round. Yep, so that's the front of the bar. And then we need some chairs. So cafe chairs. Let's rotate them round. So one, two, three, four, five. And I think, can you put one at the bottom like that? At the bottom of the bar so it's right near the wall? Whatever, I don't know. We, we've put one in. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, never mind. Okay, along here, lots of people are saying, Arg again. Maybe you should go and catch a plane. You're just sat on a chair saying, Arg. Just, what's wrong? Why are these people cross? Why are all those people saying, Arg? Is there a problem somewhere? Is there a queuing issue? No, look, lots of people are standing in line for that. What have you... Hang on, hang on. What have you missed? What do you think? A Ford Air 8132. Send home. <laughs> 8132. A Ford Air 8132. What time is it now? Seven in the morning. So 
Yeah, you, you've you very much missed your flight by quite some time. Yeah, I, I think maybe you should leave. Maybe you should leave the airport now, you lot who are late. Okay, this bit here, these little bits here are going to be for, yeah, goodies. So, vending machines and such like. So, what do we want? ATM might be useful. We haven't got many of them around, have we? So, let's put an ATM just there. Just on the middle there. So, that can be got to by lots of people. Right, and then drinks machines. That's facing away, which is quite useful. Uh, food vending is facing away. So, again, that is useful. And I'm not going to put electronics. In fact, no, I will. I'll put electronics vending there. Let's take a garbage bin next to it as well. Which way round is that? That's the front, so that's the back. Jolly good. Hello? No, 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 not there. Cancel that. Why did I put it there? I think, yeah, I have I have some lag issues, I've noticed. I think because there's quite a lot of people going through the airport now. There we go. A bin just there. We shall do the same over here, more or less, with drinks machines and stuff. So let's tip that to the right. So a drinks machine, a food vending machine... What else might people like? Or is that going to be it? I think, yeah, okay, that's fine. That, that, that. Let's stick a plant in the corner then. Let's stick a tree. Very nice, very pretty looking tree. And then let's put a bin next to it. Like that look. Lovely. It all looks good. That's a nice little area. Okay, right, we've got bins on here. So let's stick a few more trash bin things around. So we want one there, I think. And one on the end here. A lot of more people saying, arg. It does concern me, but... Why are you all... Hang on. What? Is something going wrong? So you're saying ARG, Rexicana 6685. Where is Rexicana 6685? It's supposed to arrive about half eight and leave at maybe half ten. 10.56. And you've missed the flight, I think. Cancelled. Failed to reserve... Oh. Ah. Ah. Failed to reserve gate. Oh, what does that mean? Why are lots... Oh, they're all being cancelled. Oh, my goodness me. Why is lots being cancelled? Failed to reserve gate. What does that mean? Why are they failing to reserve the gate? I don't know what that means. Is there a problem with the gates? Uh, I'm a, Okay, all right, I'm a bit baffled. I'm not entirely sure why they're not reserving the gates. Let's see what's happening. It, it, are we getting too busy? Is it too big now? Have I caused a problem? Have I caused a problem with the airport being just too big and expensive? Or am I just running an airport in a stupid way? I really don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so there's still people, or lots of people saying ARG still. Maybe we just need to get to the end of the day. Let the timer sort of reset itself. Yeah, all these people are complaining. Oh, no. ARG. Sparkjet 339. Where's that? Sparkjet 339. Cancelled. 9.30 to 11.30. So it's not arrived. So where was Sparkjet 339 supposed to go? Sparkjet 339. We're supposed to arrive at half nine. So why aren't things arriving? I don't I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Atlantic International 7365 has arrived. Where's that? Half ten. And it's supposed to leave. What time is that leaving? That departs in 44 minutes and there's people on board. So that's working. So that's working fine. This one here is, seems to be okay. Right, okay. So where are the other flights? Why are my aeroplanes... Why, why are my gates not open? This is a bit weird. Something strange has gone on here and I don't really know why. Yeah, there's... My planes aren't... Why am I not... Oh, 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 right. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> this probably isn't good. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Let's break the deadlock for those things. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened just there. Okay, that's a bit weird. Oh, so those flights were stuck. Scheduled arrival at 10 o'clock. Oh my goodness, we're going to be... This is... Th that could be a disaster. Oh dear. Okay, fine. Yeah, just... Oh, just... Everyone just leave. There's lots of people standing in line, very patiently waiting. Oh dear. So they crashed into each other, sort of. Or they just deadlocked on the runway. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, my passenger satisfaction is going to be all over the place oh goodness me okay fine right i have to watch out for planes that have crashed into each other for goodness sake you thought the pilots might be able to sort that out themselves yeah we need to get to the end of the day we need to get to the end of the day where everything just nicely resets itself okay let's put these in let's pretend that's not happening gate agent desks which way around do these need to be that's the front of the desk like that look two gate agent desks 
that's fine. Cues, we shall have some cues for these, so let's do it like that. So let's get the queue sorted. So it's a nice long queue for the big planes we're going to have. There we go, one queue like that. And the next queue can be more or less the same. Oh, that did not work well. So those two flights have basically stopped the, the, these gates working. Right, the gates are still functioning. However, I think now everything is really, really behind. Scheduled arrival, 15.15. Oh no, maybe not. Scheduled arrival, 14.15. Scheduled departure in a couple of minutes. So there's a lot of people on board though. This could be not too bad. In fact, this flight looks okay. Come on, come on. Just You're now 15 minutes late for boarding. Just leave, just leave. I'm telling you to leave. There we go. You're departing soon. And you should be departing at quarter past five. And you should be departing at quarter past five. Right, okay. That's good. That seems to be working. That makes sense. Okay. It looks like we're back on track. A few cancellations there. Oh, that was very confusing. I didn't realise that was going on. Oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. I think we can take off the horrible colouring now. It looks a bit... The plan tool is very good, but it looks dreadful when there's stuff on top of it. So let's just take that out. Right, so now we need some of the information boards... And we need some pretties, because we want to make it look nice for people. So we need a flight information board, say, there, and one there. Let's put one up here. We're going to we're gonna sort of not block, but we're going to stop people going across the top of there. That's fine. And we shall put a flight information board down here. That's good. Uh, let's not put one in the middle. Let's keep that bit free, because people seem to be walking through the middle of it quite nicely. Uh, okay, is there a big... A big tr a tree that's outside. Where's the little there's a decorative tree like that? Look, I like them. Decorative tree, decorative tree, and then some plant pot thingy-mabobs. There we go. Potted plant. One just there. One just there. One just there. And then let's choose a different potted plant. That one there to go wherever. Just there. And one. Let's choose the other one. Plant two. I know we've got lots of plant two. Plant one. Just there. There we go. So it's now got lots of lovely plants, lots of lovely environmental upgrades. Okay, let's wait for the builder guys to finish putting all the uh, all the greenery in. They're all in, and I've assigned the gate agent desk to both the queues and the actual gate. So now the gate requires a door. So we need to put the door in because at the moment there is no door. So a large sliding door just there. And while they're putting the door in, let's get a couple of staff people to work just here and just here. So now we've got a couple of staff people manning these gate agent desks. So we'll wait for that door to be put in place. The door is in. The big sliding door is ready. And we have a large aircraft gate. Or an aircraft gate large, which is obviously very different to an airplane gate. So it's ready. So I think next time out, we shall schedule some flights for that. And that'll be quite exciting. One thing I do want to do now, though. 143 grand. How much more road can we put in? Because this is slightly irritating. The road thing is irritating. And there's also a sidewalk as well. I mean, do I want the whole thing to be sidewalk? Ooh, look, it increases the movement more. Plus 10% movement, as opposed to that, which is plus 5% movement. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Should we put some more of that in? No, I'm not that bothered, actually, about them moving around outside. How much more of this road can I get in? If it's eight grand per bit. I don't mind so much spending quite a bit of money. So I can get it up to there, maybe to the end of drop-offs, look. What about just there? Fact, let's stretch it another square. Let's stretch that to just there. A big outlay, but hopefully if we do that, whoa, road, 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 and then expenditure on everything else as well. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, let's see if that works. Let's see if that helps. So maybe these vehicles can drive in and pull in here, look, and then drive down past drop-offs and pull in properly at pickups rather than doing the stupid angle thing like that. Ah, stop it. You stupid bus drivers. Back to bus driver school for you. Right, let's wait to see if this road, when complete, makes any bloody difference at all. Right, okay, that made a little bit of a difference. One of the passenger buses kind of came round the edge and dropped the passengers off. But no, they're still driving in like idiots and parking across two lanes. Great job. Thank you, buses. Maybe it needs to be all the way up there. Maybe they, because they come in on this outer lane, maybe there are issues with it then coming into the sort of inner lane. Maybe it needs to be all the way down there. But that, if it's eight grand a bloody bit for a bit of road, that's going to be flipping extortion. That's going to be what? 300 grand or something stupid? But yeah, okay, we've got 56 grand back already. So we are making quite a lot of money. And that doesn't even take into account this big 
new shiny exciting gate which is very good so i think we're going to stop there but next time out i think we shall put some stuff here this aircraft gate large shall be operation fully operational and we shall put some aircraft in it we shall schedule some flights we'll have to be a little bit wary to start with maybe we'll just do a couple and see how it goes because they're going to be big big airplanes just realize something this this runway doesn't have those little those little lights on it the pappies precision approach path indicator provides a visual indicator to pilots of their approach angle resulting in increased safety yeah should we put some of those next to the air, next to this thing should we put some just there does that help i mean is that do they only need one lot i genuinely have no idea i don't really know what the pappies are they just look like lights to me is is this not already lit enough it's covered in leds it's covered in lights i don't know quite why they need some little extra lights here but apparently it helps okay so let's wait for them to get finished so yeah well, next time out we shall schedule some flights in here the money will come a rolling in then we'll try and get this road bit done along here maybe we'll start tarmacking around here as well not tarmacking sidewalking let's change all that to sort of sidewalk or we might tie it up to the outside of the airport because it looks a little bit sort of rubbish there's a couple of palm trees and a couple of little decorative bushes so we might work on that next time out and then we need to save up some money and start working on our final gate. This is the last bit that we're going to be able to do for our airport. Oh, oh, hang on. Yes, I'll, I'll also be doing the baggage carousel stuff. Yeah, next time out there, it's probably going to be a little bit of a sort of over here area. Well, the flights will be scheduled, but it's going to be over here. It's going to be roads, sidewalk, and then sorting out the uh, baggage carousels. In fact, that might need to be done first before we put any extra flights in, just in case we can't cope with uh, all the passengers waiting for their bags but yes that is all to come so for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time right everyone give me your money give me all the money the music is very sinister i'm not sure i particularly like the music fire the catapult oh what a shot catapult man right okay they're knocking the wall down they're not the wall is coming down oh god some of them are huge oh god people are dying oh it's lovely i've got a watermelon